All right, y'all, welcome back. Big Al here. Uh, this lock here, um, I've been wanting to do on camera, and I also want to see what's inside because I had bought a bunch of locks uh, off of eBay a while back, and uh, this one was in there. It doesn't have a key, but I noticed, I believe it must have been in the lock sport community before because I have other rust ones, and although I'm not familiar with locks very much uh, I don't think they come with ball bearings in there and this one's got ball bearings in the bottom of all the pins here I think on all of them it looks like it uh, I've never have taken it apart yet but I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick it open and take it apart and see what's actually inside like I said if it's from the lock sport community I don't know uh, uh, if it ever was um, or if it was just somebody's practice lock, because it also feels like there's some security pins in there. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't pick as easy as uh, my other rust ones. So we'll get into it here and see what's inside. We do it on the camera. Maybe a little higher. There we go. Okay. Let's tear into it and see what happens, huh? Pick here. All right, let's do it. Like I said, I I don't think these uh, uh, come with ball bearings in the bottom of the pins and uh, security pins in the lock. I I just don't know. They might. little tiny click there it's not a real hard one oh I'm losing the tension wrench it's not a real hard one to uh golly real hard one to pick but uh, uh not real easy either not for me because getting the pick underneath those ball bearings and keeping it there is kind of a little bit more of a turn on the core there's some counter rotation I want to say five yeah but I think I lost my I think I lost that little fall oh, I got it back I let off a little bit and got it back oh, now it's a little deeper I'm gonna check around for something else before I waste this. Yeah, that's some pretty good uh man. Pretty good uh counter rotation there. There's nothing else is nothing else is talking but that one. So I think I'm going to have to take it. Oh, man, are you kidding me? There we go. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Tension wrench flopped out because it did open. Good. All right. Now, let's see why there's ball bearings in this dang thing. All right. Let's see. here should be pretty good all right light booyah okay i already took one of these screws out to make it make it a little quicker i don't want to relock it because i don't have a key but now that i'm taking it apart and i guess i'll keep it apart until i go ahead and make a key for it may as well all right don't lock it again all right let's see follower probably this one
think that follower might have been a little too small. Okay, pins we got. Oh, they're all up like that. Oh, just from the juju, I guess. Okay, pin one. Oops. Oh, yep, pin one and a ball bearing. Pin two and a ball bearing. Wow. Pin three and a ball bearing. Same on four. Same on five. Okay, six was not a ball bearing, but it's got a maybe a, a master pin. It's got two of them in there. Unless it was uh, uh, that short. I don't know. It's not that short. Anyways, let's keep going. I'll uh, arrange these a little better here. Ball bearing, pin, ball bearing, pin, ball bearing. Okay. That doesn't look modified. No, that doesn't look modified. All right, let's see what's up top here. Get the light over here. Well, all right. There we go. Yeah, this was followers a little, little shy, a little small. Okay, yeah, I think it was master keyed because uh, I'm gonna have to zoom in on these in a in a bit. But there's two pieces in here. Oh yeah, and a security. Yep, looks like a serrated spool. Or no, it looks like just a spool. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Yep, another uh, two pins. So this thing must have been master keyed also. And yep, another spool. That's in two. Okay, three. All right, three is just a spool with no other pin. Uh, four. Come on, don't be shy. Another uh, spool. Uh, on the other side, I guess. Yeah, the follower was too small. My bad. Okay. So we're going backwards now. So this is six. Six looks like a, a standard pin. I think. And five is another. Looks like a wafer, master wafer, and a another spool yep so I'll be damned this thing like I said it must have uh, I'm trying to look and see if this is modified uh, I don't think it is no I don't think there's any kind of threading or anything in the chamber or in the body nope okay all right well anyways like I said pretty cool though pretty cool I'm gonna put the light on these pins over here real good and uh, get a little zoom in on them and uh, call this one a wrap Yeah, they all had uh, all the key pins had ball bearings underneath them, and you can see they uh, there was uh, spools in one, two, three, four, and five. 
and six. Yep. Fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching.